Hello and welcome to Gaisuka Roundup. I'm your host, Curtis Sitel. A clear understanding of the importance of partnership is demonstrated as those involved reap the benefits. Residents of Region 6 responded well to the opportunity to learn new skills under the Industry Skills Training Enhancement Program, INSTEP. The program was a collaborative effort with the Ministry of Natural Resources. Participants were former employees. This week's program of Gaisuka Roundup showcases another strand of development and celebrates achievement. From the very land that gave sugar around the world the name Demerara comes the finest quality of cane sugar, Demerara Gold. Enjoy the real thing from the original source, the rich, fertile Demerara coastline where sugar cane has been harvested since the mid-17th century. The result is here for you to enjoy. Wherever this unique sugar flavor is needed, Demerara Gold is the ingredient that will always create a stir. Welcome back. The corporation pauses to recognize the efforts of management and their teams of Albion, Blairmont and Eiffel Estates on the resilience shown thus far for the second crop. We pledge support throughout the remaining weeks of the crop. This week, we celebrate the achievements of the graduates of the INSTEP technical program conducted by the Gaisuko Training Center at Port Morant. Gaisuko Training Center is pleased to be associated with the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Board of Industrial Training in offering technical training to the retrenched workers of Gaisuku, which from the inception was the main focus in retooling them with the necessary knowledge and skills so they can be integrated into other sectors in our country, such as the emerging oil and gas sector. But the influx of applicants was not only coming from retrenched workers of Gaisuku, but also from their families, school dropouts, females from both private and public sector, all showed a great interest and desire to learn and skill. And so because the Ministry of Natural Resources didn't want to exclude anyone, decided to create an equal opportunity for all Borbishans. And so this program created this opportunity. This program is referred to as the Industry Skills Training and Enhancement Program, better known as INSTEP. Today, 84 trainees successfully completed this program. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> On behalf of the Gaisuku Training Center, in collaboration with the Ministry of Natural Resources, I bid you a warm welcome 
as we celebrate the successful completion of the industry skills training and enhancement program. It's a pleasure having you all here today. The success of any program definitely depends on song management and leadership practices. Let us welcome an HR expert in training and development and the manager of Gaisuku Training Center, Mr. Jainarain Sukpal, to give the project report. Mr. Sukpal. Welcome to the first graduation exercise for the Industry Skills Training Enhancement Program, referred to as INSTEP. The Gaisuku Training Center Port Morant has been in existence since 1957 and still maintains a competitive advantage in the delivery of technical skills training in Guyana. And our graduates continue to contribute significantly to the growth and development of this nation and the wider world. The project, which was a collaborative effort between the Gaisuku Training Center, the Ministry of Natural Resources, and the Board of Industrial Training. Training commenced on June the 22nd, 2018, at the Gaisuku Training Center Port Morant in the following areas. Basic welding and fabrication, basic electrical installation, basic motor vehicles servicing and minor repairs, and basic refrigeration. 98 students began the program. However, because of various reasons, only 84 completed their training. The duration of the training for each trade area was 120 hours, held on Fridays and Saturdays, and was executed by a highly competent instructors and technician currently attached to Gaisuku Training Center and Albion Estate. Monitoring and evaluation of the program was done weekly by the management of the Gaisuku Training Center and representatives from the Ministry of Natural Resources and the Board of Industrial Training. At the commencement of training, each student was given a code of conduct along with an identification badge. Also, Albion Estate provided additional security during this training period. I am proud to report that there was no breach of the code of conduct, as well as an accident-free training for this batch of training. Some special projects undertaken by the student in their respective trade areas were in welding, fabrication of a monkey bar and multi-ring climber for the Esplanade Park in Amsterdam, and a steel door for the instrument workshop. In motor vehicles repairs, wheel alignment, services and repair to vehicles, braking system, vehicle diagnostic testing, while the student of the refrigeration and electrical classes did services and repairs to air conditioning unit, water dispensers and refrigerators, workshop lighting, etc. This program was funded by the Ministry of Natural Resources and includes stipend for trainees traveling from long distances. This initiative from the Ministry of Natural Resources is just the beginning of what is anticipated in the near future. Today is another proud day for the Gaisuku Training Center as 84 trainees, inclusive of 11 females, are graduating from this elite institution. Their exemplary performance on the job, together with the achievement of 39 distinctions, 25 credits, and 20 passes at their examination is commendable. With the restructuring of Gaisuku and the current situation of the apprenticeship program at the center, there are many other options that can be considered in the near future for GTCPM, such as collaboration with other ministries to provide training for the oil and gas sector, the manganese industry, and the basic need training to persons from the hinterland regions, since we have all the residential facility here, just highlighting a few. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Ministry of Natural Resources, the Board of Industrial Training, the Gaisuku family, friends, well-wishers, and more so the staff and trainees of this first in-step project for their commitment and dedication over the past 12 weeks. And to you, the graduates, 
you have shown flexibility that you can adapt and you are, that you are resilient what you are doing is repositioning yourself so that you can continue to be marketable and productive acquiring different skill sets widens your range of option for employment as well as improves your efficiency one of the greatest gift you can give yourself right here right now in this single solitary monumental moment of your life is to decide without apology to commit to the journey and not to the outcome all the best for a brighter future thank you let us welcome Ms. Marissa Charles to give some brief remarks on behalf of the Ministry of Natural Resources. Today I stand proud and imbued with joy and on behalf of the, on behalf of the Minister of Natural Resources, Honorable Raphael Trotman, to, com to commemorate and celebrate the hard work, commitment and success of the graduates of the inaugural INSTEP project. Congratulations. The road to success is most times not a straight one. It is full of stop signs, turns, speed bumps, and hurdles. But it's through perseverance and commitment we make it to the end, with the greatest appreciation of the journey traveled. Each of you is now a part of GTCPM and the ministry's history. You are all now ambassadors of the Gaisuko Training Center and evidence of the success of the INSTEP project. Guyana is on the cusp of unprecedented development through the exploitation of our petroleum reserves. While petroleum is an emerging economic sector, this sector brings opportunity for the people and country of Guyana. Through your skill development, you are now better equipped to capitalize on the opportunities in the sector, whether core or peripheral. But the focus should not only be in the petroleum sector. Holistically, you are better equipped to build other economic sectors towards the complete development of Guyana. The reward of hard work is more work because your expectations are now enlarged. While this is the end of the program, this is the beginning of a new chapter of your lives. When Guyana shines, it's the work of people like you. You are the building blocks of our success that make that happen. So I implore you today to continue to be change agents in the development of your communities, your region, and your country. I am very proud of you. As the late US President John F. Kennedy once said, ask yourself not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Best wishes in your future endeavors. Thank you. Now you know that you are an ambassador, not only for GTCPM, but also for the Ministry of Natural Resources. And it's, it is expected of you to conduct yourself you know, accordingly. And of course, she mentioned an important aspect that all of us must adapt to change. The only thing that is constant is change, and therefore we must all change to adapt. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Minister of Education, the Honorable Nicolette Henry, to give some remarks. It is indeed a pleasure to be here at the closing ceremony of the Industry Skills Training Enhancement Program. I am particularly pleased to be here as this is an initiative for human development and it is also one that speaks to collaboration and a capacity building project 
between the Ministry of Natural Resources and Guy Suko Training Center, Port Moron. As you would agree, education is vital in every aspect of life. And I would like to thank the Honorable Minister Raphael Trotman for inviting me to speak in recognition of lifelong learning, which is an important pillar of the Ministry of Education's mandate. And you graduating here today are a shining example of this. This new or additional training will allow you to participate directly in that development. You are now ready either to embark on employment in this region, and that will be supporting the direct and indirect services of petroleum, mining, agriculture, and other economic sectors. Some of you may branch off into creating your own businesses, which in turn will create new jobs for your community. In fact, you are here today having completed many hours of in-step program that provides you with an understanding and gives you the power of your own growth and certainly will recognize and certainly embrace the benefits of lifelong learning. I have also been informed that it is expected that some of you will engage in further training at the Upper Quarantine Industrial Training Center and the New Amsterdam Technical Institute. I wish you all the best in your continued educational journey. And for those of you who will be transitioning into the world of work, I extend best wishes to you, and I trust you have a successful career. In, in closing, may I congratulate all of you on this exemplary achievement, and may you go on to lead very productive and purpose-driven lives as you contribute to the growth and development of this beautiful country. God bless us all. Thank you. By Ned. Um, he's our student affairs officer and he's responsible for the welfare of the apprentice at the school. It is time most of us, especially the graduates, are waiting on the distribution of certificate and prizes.
Today we want to acknowledge outstanding students from the various disciplines and reward them to the basic electrical installation student. The best basic electrical installation student, and I would like to call on Mrs. Delphi Pallar. Uh, those prizes consist of tools for the persons in the various disciplines, so she was able to practice uh, what she was taught and utilize the tools and instruments to do checks and tests. I would like to call on the best motor vehicle student, and that is no other than Andrew Bakhtawar to come forward and receive your prize. Let's go out together. Have some mechanical tools, mechanical or electric tools, so that he's equipped to perform what he was trained to do. The prize to the best basic refrigeration student, and that is no other than Sunil Lachman. And Sunil Lachman come on the stage. Thanks very much. The price for the best basic welding and fabrication student, and that goes to Arif Chan. And Arif Chan, our receiver. Your price. And now I call on the Minister of Natural Resources, Honourable Rafael Trapman, Member of Parliament, and I would like him to present two prizes. The first is the best female student, who is no other than Mistress Desri Paula. She's advanced in age, but she's looking young. She's having a monetary reward, and also a trophy for that performance as the best female student. And now I want to ask our valedictorian to come forward, and he is no other than Sunil Lachman to receive his gift. And this gift is the minister's gift. You will be having a plaque, a trophy, and a monetary reward. Let's put our hands together again for him. I now invite the top student of INSTEP 2018, Mr. Sunil Lachman, to give his valedictorian remarks. I must first and foremost thank God for this blessing and honor to stand before you today as the valedictorian of this program. I know every graduate present here deserving high praise and recognition, and I would like to congratulate each of you on reaching this milestone. Standing here make me remember the first day I started my class when Mr. Rahim asked us what is our main objective of being here. And my objective was to be the best graduating student of this class. I would like to express a heartfelt thanks to you Mr. Rahim and Mr. Harichan Kulib who has taught me during this 12 week course and for also sharing their fountain of knowledge. They have inspired me to be as just as great in career of my choosing as they are. Once again, thank you for your endless support, patience, and guidance. On behalf of my batchmate and myself, I would like to express sincere gratitude to the Minister of Natural Resource and the Gaizuku Training Center for affording us this opportunity to learn and enhance our knowledge and skills in basic refrigeration basic electrical installation, basic motor vehicle services and minor repair, and basic welding and fabrication. I know for a fact this certificate is the force some may have, and I know you will make good use of it. I would also like to thank my wife who supported me 
and who is my greatest motivator. To all my friends who are graduating here today with me, thank you for all your support. Before I conclude it, I would like to leave these few thoughts. Live as you are to die tomorrow and learn as if you are to live forever. Fellow graduates, don't wait until tomorrow to do what you can do today. Sometimes taking the road less travel lead to unexpected opportunities and memorable experience. On your road to new adventure and endeavors, never forget to follow the golden rules of life and treat others as you would like to be treated. Congratulations once again, and I wish each of you health, strength, prosperity, happiness, now and forever. Thank you. Very good speech, Mr. Sunil. And as I said, it is always good to know that you have supporting partner, and he would have just alluded to that his wife was one of the biggest inspiration in his life. And that is good to see that when you're doing something, your entire family is behind you. You know, it drives you to the level of success that you want to be. So I'm mean, encouraging the others also to seek support. You know, who don't have wives as yet, I'm certain soon they will be. And for those who have family members, to always seek support and guidance. You know, together as a team, together as a community, together as a country, we can build ourselves. You know? Congratulations to all of the graduates of the INSTEP program. Your commitment and resolve are important enabling factors of your growth and development. This has been Gaisuka Roundup. Thank you for staying tuned. I'm your host, Curtis Sitel. Goodbye.